Okay, now we're live. So we were we were streaming, but we weren't actually live. Okay. Awesome. Great. So welcome everybody to the YouTube live stream today, Wednesday. Um, I am here with Daniel Panchal. He's uh, our product expert here at Gravity Sketch. And we thought it would just be really cool if we um, basically just modeled a, a flying car for you guys live here on, uh, on YouTube. And if you're wondering what these sketches are and these renderings are up here, um, this is just a really cool flying car concept that uh, we came across online from Airbus. And um, it's, uh, it's some of their concept works for, uh, for a flying, personal flying car, basically. It's also part of our uh, challenge uh, this week uh, to our community is to design a, um, a shared flying car vehicle uh, for the year 2035. So if you want to take part in that challenge, uh, just go and look at our Instagram and um, you can see the details there. And, uh, that'll, and if you want to make a submission, just send it over to hashtag gravity sketch challenge and, uh, and we'll, we'll share your submissions the, the following Wednesday. So um, let's see here. All right. Well, Donio, why don't we just go ahead and get started? Um, I'm going yes, to uh, bring in that sketch. So just for everybody watching, um, what we're going to do is we already have the sketches up here from Airbus. And so we're going to refer to these and make basically this design in Gravity Sketch. Um, we've already spent a little time creating the sketches or, or the wireframe for this uh, beforehand, just so we didn't have to spend too much time uh, sketching. Um, but let me go ahead and bring that bring that in now. I have to position it. Um, get that lined up. Um, and while I'm doing that, Daniel, why don't you uh, just introduce yourself, talk a little bit about your uh, your background, and, and just let, let people know who you are. Yeah, sure. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Daniel Panchal, and uh, I'm a product expert intern at Gravity Sketch. And uh, my background is basically I've done transportation design um, at Lawrence Tech University in Michigan, and uh, recently... About in, in summer, early summer, I joined Gravity Sketch as an intern. And uh, yeah, uh, it's been fun uh, working on. I, I used Gravity Sketch a lot while I was at school. So, uh, I mean, I'm still in my last semester, but it was just uh, really fun just doing the process, including Gravity Sketch in design process. Like usually we go from sketching to Photoshop shop renders, and then you jump into like 3D modeling and everything. But I think Gravity Sketch kind of like escalated the process of me doing design, car design. Uh, and yeah, having really a uh, lot of fun. Awesome. Gravity Sketch. Yeah, it's it's a pleasure to pleasure to work with you and, and pleasure to, to get to know you as well on the team. Um, let's see. I'm just going to check the uh, viewers here. Awesome. So, let me see here. I'm just going to pull in some references. I know we have some reference up there. Those are more for you guys watching. Um, but I'm going to pull in some reference for myself just so I can see. So, so just to let everybody know, the rough plan here is we've prepared this sketch beforehand just so we could spend more time on making the model, the surfacing, and all of that. Um, and so Duanil will be actually creating uh, uh, the exterior, the exterior of this a flying car concept, and I'll be working on the interior. And at some point, maybe midway through, uh, if we get to a good point, um, I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to show different angles of the car so we can all see the different the different viewpoints of it. Um, and so, Duaniel, uh, feel free to share just what you're doing while you're, while you're going and, and talk about your thinking and your process. Um, 
And uh, if you have any thoughts about Gravity Sketch, you know, things that come to mind, uh, that's totally, totally good, totally fine. Um, let me just bring in some reference here. So since we already have a, a decent sketch, um, I'm going to jump into doing some surfacing. I'll start with sub-D uh, surfaces. And basically, I'm going to start from the beam, so like the overall center shape. And then I'm going to expand towards the wings and everything and other details. So let's start. I'll... um. And Duaniel, it looks like this cockpit opens up, so I'll I'll outline the the outline for that real quick, so you can build your surfaces around that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So that looks like it goes kind of like that. So, so the mirror is on, uh, but it's invisible. So whatever I'm doing is basically happening on the other side as well. It's just you cannot see the mirror. And that's probably best um, for everybody watching too, um, to have the mirror off. It just makes the scene look a little less cluttered. Let's see. So that's the, this is the cut line for the, the glass opening? Yes. Um, might need some a little more refinement. I'm just trying to get the rough outline, and then I'm going to go and get the... I need to look at some other images here. I'm going to look at this one. I'm trying to see if there's a top view of this thing. Uh, it looks like it just goes straight across. It's pretty mm -hmm. simple. I think these are these are pretty good. So, so I'm starting with simplified surface, and then I'm using the edit menu to reduce my nerve points, and then I'm turning that sur same surface into subdivision surface, so I can build from there. And so, you, do you usually start, Daniel, with? Uh... So you usually start with NURBS and then you go into sub D? Yeah, because if you go directly into sub D, you'll have the extra points that you want to get rid of. But uh, if you start uh, with just a, a simplified surface, there's an option in the edit menu where you just tap on simplify points and it does, Gravity Sketch does that for you. So the surfaces are much more cleaner and you can track the highlight. Right, that makes more sense. Okay. And once, once I have the surface quality that I want uh, in the beginning, I'm going to just start building from there. So I'll start adding like points from the original surface. And just so everybody knows, we might take a little bit of artistic liberty with this as well, since we're really just going off of some sketches here. We don't exactly have some orthographic drawings yet, so. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. Hmm. 
All right. All right, so I think I'm just going to go right into the interior. Yeah. So the, these are the final crease lines? These I'm are, fine. yeah. Let's, um, okay. let's call those the final ones, yeah. All right, perfect. So I'm just going to start building from there. Let's see. Oh yeah, just another thing for everybody watching. We're trying to do this in under an hour and a half is our goal. Because yeah. I think the last stream, I went pretty long for three hours. It was a really good result, I think. Um, people people definitely enjoyed it. But we want to see if we can get a little bit quicker with our, um, our workflow here. And so um, that's sort of a challenge that we have. And uh, hopefully make it a little more interesting for all of you. Yeah. So and also the reason why we choose this Airbus is because it's already existing concept. So we want to show that how you can take something already existing and really quickly make that in gravity sketch. Yeah, absolutely. And Duanio, once you're done with the, uh, the the visor here, if you could just make mm -hmm. that transparent, and I'll um, yeah, it'll absolutely, help. it'll help with the uh, I think the visibility. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. All right. I'm going to, I think the first step for this interior is I'm going to make this outline here. And it's just going to go all the way up this way. This will just block, block in the dimension. Neil, I don't know if you saw the trailer for the new Dune movie coming out, but it's pretty exciting. Oh, yeah? I, I have not. I'm going to watch it. Are you familiar with Dune? Um, No, I don't think so. It's an old sci-fi book written by Frank Herbert. Um, oh. And it's, uh, I think, in the 60s. Um, but, uh, or maybe... Yeah, I'm not sure on that, but uh, it's a sci-fi book. It's really dense with just plot and character development and all of that. And so a lot of um, inspiration for other sci-fi uh, titles came from that. Um, oh. Like Star Wars, Star Trek, mm -hmm. um, Alien. Oh, that's pretty cool. I, I love Alien movies, especially the original one. It would be cool if you like later on, maybe we can make something live from the Dune movie. Like, I don't know uh, what kind of advanced uh, vehicles they have in there, but if we can do something like that. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I put the visor in a different layer and turn down the opacity. So it's transparent, kind of acts like actual visor. Yeah. Um, you know, if you could just make it, hide it just for now, I think that'll be easier okay. to see everything. Yeah, but absolutely. But it's definitely good that you've built the surface. I think that'll be nice. Let's see here. Just a second. So what I'm doing here right now is basically I copied the visor 
put it in a separate layer. And now I'm going to turn down the original visor and use this copied surface and build off of this surface. So I'm, I'm not making something from scratch. So what I'm doing is just That's deleting nice. the points that I don't need. So I'm not doing extra labor work, but I'm just using the already clean surfaces that I've created and building from there. That's really smart workflow. Yeah, it, that's that's great. The philosophy of taking what you've already made in Gravity Sketch and and having that exponentially work for you mm -hmm. as you're working in the sketch, so you're not doing extra work. Yeah, that's really smart. Let's see here. And all, it also keeps the consistency of surfaces throughout the model when you when you're done. Let's see. All right, so I'm just going to block in the, let's see, I'm going to start with plane here. Do, do, do. Here we go. Sorry if you hear some noise in the background, everyone. There's a... Uh, some mowing going on in the background. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I'm just starting with a plane here. And I am... basically going to block in the entire floor and dash surface um, and then subdivide from there. And if any of you watched the live stream from last week on the kayak, this is a similar approach to when I constructed the, uh, the body. And it's a really good philosophy. Um, and it's what Duanil's also doing here, which is starting with pretty basic surfacing, pretty mm -hmm. basic geom pretty basic uh, and simple forms. And then as you need to add more complexity, um, you just subdivide and add that complexity. So based on the sketch here, we've got... So I'll just go up on here. Um, I am constructing this section here and if anybody can see that and basically the uh this is all one surface and it extrudes into the seat there's even a um, an extrusion that goes into the back of the seat here and so to make that entire surface we're just going to start with one surface and Go from there. Let's see here. And I'm just creating the surface, the basic surface right now, getting the overall shape. And once I have the, the whole shape blocked out, I'm going to start adding the detail, like creasing, and adding the character line and everything. Nice, nice. How's the weather in Texas, Sharon? The weather is is good, actually. Um, it uh, 
Oh, we've got different designs. Sorry, I'm getting look. I'm looking at these sketches. The the <laughs> um, the weather is good. Um, it's it was been rainy the past uh past week. Uh, mm-hmm. We we got some rain for a little while, which is nice. It rained in a while, but but now it's nice and sunny again. So nice. Typical spring weather. Yes. Wait, sorry, fall. <laughs> Never mind. Right. <laughs> we haven't gotten any comments through yet. I'm hoping that there isn't an issue with people being able to access everything because um, we've got some viewers, but nobody's commented yet. And because we normally have some comments by now, but we'll just keep going here. This will be accessible when it's over anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, I think step one is to take the, yeah, okay. Gonna take these points. I'm trying to create some edge loops that will when I when I break them up, they will create this extrusion. So let me right. see here. Are you making the seats and everything? Yeah, I'm just starting with the floor first. Okay. I'm actually really excited to see the the interior because I have not seen like aircraft interior made in Gravity Sketch before. Yeah, if you want to see an aircraft ex- interior from Gravity Sketch, I would check out um, I Draw Cars in 3D. That's uh, his Instagram handle, but it's uh, Michael Smith. He's oh the, yeah, uh, he designed right. uh, uh, aircraft in Gravity Sketch, and he designed the interior as well, and it's really really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know Michael Smith. He, I think he's at Ford, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he actually came down to Ron Stack once, uh, I think last year, and he talked about Gravity Sketch and sketching in VR. And uh, yeah, that's that's when I was like, huh, I, like we were first introduced to like, oh, there's program softwares and programs like this exist. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's really easy when you have a really good sketch done uh, beforehand so you can kind of like trace it when you're doing sub D sketching exactly saves a lot of time but that also means like when you when you start like make sure you have a, a really good sketch laid out so it, it it only helps you later when you start doing surfacing Yes, yeah, exactly. Let's see.
And when you do like sub desurfacing, uh, always make sure you avoid triangles because sub D is kind of math and uh, you wanna avoid um, creating like a triangular surfaces or or with, within the nerves just to like, just to have a proper and good highlight and surface finishing. Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, sometimes, and, it, and that, yeah, that's very true. There will be some points you'll find um, as well when you're uh, making something in sub D that you have to create a triangle. Sometimes it just, the geometry demands it. So the best practice mm -hmm. is just to hide it as best as you can. Yeah. Areas that it won't be seen, but general principle quads is definitely king. Let's see. All right. Well, we got a, we do have a question in here. One question, how do you set the camera outside the person's view? Is this part of a collab mode only? Um, so to answer your question, Bargain, uh, the how you set up the external camera is on your keyboard. Uh, you press the escape key and you'll get a little menu that pops up and it'll ask you, it, you can actually, it has a number of things. One of the things is you can set smooth head camera. So if you're recording, um, like what we're doing from your headset, uh, it will smooth your view so it's, you know, smoother basically in the view. Um, but you also have another option for external camera. Uh, and there's a couple other options on there. But if you turn on external camera and then you hop into Gravity Sketch, you will see an external camera in your scene that you can move around. And it's got a few settings like uh, field of view and um, and you can have it follow your sketch or just sit stationary in uh, one spot. And so when I move around and scale like this, the camera's not going to move. Um, so that's how you do that. It's, uh, it's really useful if you want people to just get one standard view of your, uh, of your design um, in Gravity Sketch. So let's see. It's also nice when you're trying to record something. Yes, it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect for things like this. And in a minute, um, we're going to move the camera so we can show more views after we get further along with this uh, design here. Let's see. I'm adding a subdivision there. And we've got got a hole here so we're just gonna cut that hole and then we're gonna connect these two faces these two together how are the interiors going so far oh nice yeah the best part about creating in VR is like when you go in point of view or like driver position or something, or in this case, like pilot, you actually feel like you're sitting here. <laughs> yeah, exactly.
cool. Probably want to. So I'm spending a little more time on the, the curves here, just so I get the right shape. All right, I think that's good for that for now. Might adjust it later, but we're just going to keep moving along. Let's see here. It's been like 25, 30 minutes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And you can already see how much progress we've made in just that amount of time. Oh, yeah. It goes by so quick. Let's see. Time kind of flies uh, in Gravity Sketch. Yeah. You don't realize when you're more. When well, you're not, like... not just in Gravity Sketch, but in VR, it just, you know, it yeah. just really. Yeah, like when I was like new to Gravity Sketch and learning, I would, it was, I think, last year, and I would spend like hours and, and sometimes like all nights because I, I would try to like finish like one entire theme in, in one night because it's so quick. But at the same time, like I was like, sometimes I would like fall, take take a like 10 minute quick power nap <laughs> while having my VR headsets on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I also find that working in sub D is kind of like, um, it's kind of like a puzzle. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's it's like puzzle and when you when you exactly match point to point, it's so satisfying. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. It's very rewarding for sure. Let's check the comments here. Um, so the, he's asking, are you merging sub D as you go? 
Um, uh, I think that might be a question for you, Daniel. Yeah. Uh, yes, absolutely. So I started as an up surface and then turned uh, my surface into sub D and now I'm just merge, merging sub D points as I'm going. Got it. Well, I think it's time to start blocking in the chair, so probably should get right on that. I'm just going to take this human that we have in here. Yeah, and I'm almost done with the exterior surface. I just need to do undercarriage and then I'll be done on the blocking surface. I'm going to, um, since we're getting a little more going on here, I'm going to move the camera a yeah. little bit. Yep. Well, actually, I'll wait. I'll wait. I want to get a little bit further along here. Mm-hmm.
So I'm just finishing up the undercarriage and I'll be done with just blocking the exterior at that point. And then I can start doing creasing and some detail work on the exterior. All right, sounds good. Okay. Well, the outside surface is blocked. And awesome. Let's take a look. Let's see. Nice. Looking good. So I kind of created a triangle in the back here, <laughs> which I didn't want it to, uh, but just because of the how the surfaces are in the back. Yeah. But the beauty of Cravity Sketch, uh, I combined the points, and now it looks just seamless surface. So I'm going to create a wing from the surfaces that I already have. Uh, at least the front wing.
so I'm matching the sketch lines as best as I can with just expanding from the existing surfaces. Oh, that's looking real nice. Talking about the uh, the interior? Yeah, the seat. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Glad, glad you like it. Yeah, yeah. The exterior is looking wonderful as well. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get a little extrusions going on here.
All right, we got a few more comments here. Let's see. What are they about? Um, someone asked, are we both modeling or is one just watching? Uh, the answer is we are both modeling. Ah, I see Emil joined and he said we're both modeling and that is yes. So we're both modeling at the same time and that's kind of partly what we're trying to do here is we're trying to show how two people can work on a model at the same time um, and really get uh, get the work done twice as fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the beauty of co-creation is that you can collaborate like in a real world and and could knock something out in no time. Yeah. Be um, it a design project or just a yeah. student project. Yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely. Um, someone, Oblargan asks if, uh, if two people, if it's just two people at a time in collaboration mode. Um, currently at the moment, we have a max of four people per, per session uh, that are, that we're able to support. Um, we are experimenting with uh, larger numbers of people, but um, the most stable at the moment is four, as far as I understand. Uh, I don't know, Daniel, if you have any information on that as well, but um, just that's that's from what I know. Yeah, I think for now it's uh, it's four people. But yeah, stay tuned too if you need it, well, like waiting for any update. Just make sure you check our website regularly and um, stay in touch. And we'll, we'll, I'm pretty sure the team's working on higher number. Yeah, the goal is to is obviously is um, is obviously higher numbers of people to join. Um, it's really just a server uh, thing. Uh, server concern at the moment, or a, a server a server limitation. All right, Daniel, we've got about 30 more minutes. Okay. So that's All just right. kind of how we're doing on time, which I think yeah. not bad. We're, we're, we're coming along, I, th I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I spent five, ten minutes more on this front wing. I'm going to jump into... The rear wing now. I just have a few more up. details I need to do on the um, on the uh, here uh, the uh, the interior or the uh, dash here. I need to get those on. That was kind of my mm -hmm. next step. Yeah, that's the thing. You you can easily get carried away in gravity sketch and not realize. Yes. <laughs> yes. Getting carried away is It's sometimes scary when you add more edge loops because it gets really makes the geometry start getting really dense. You got to know mm -hmm. where you want detail and where you don't. Yeah.
So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create rear wing from the same surface and then I'm gonna uh, delete rest of the, copy this the whole thing and delete rest of the surface and keep the wing as a separate part. So I'll show the whole process when I'm done creating the wing. Awesome. here Someone's saying it would be cool to animate objects and have kinetics in VR, and we agree. That would be totally cool. Um, that's something we've definitely discussed and have talked about internally as well, is um, kinetics and, and, and animation um, on objects inside Gravity Sketch and VR. Um, hey, Daniel, why don't you make this surface reflective and see what this looks like? Yeah. There. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm going to start creasing uh creasing the surface as well very shortly. So one thing I discovered like from like spending time in gravity sketch is that when you have triangle, you can uh, just pop out the tool menu and use cut tool and add more geometry to like fulfill your triangle and make, basically make the, the quad. Yeah, that's a great. Uh, it's a great point. Uh, anybody listening, um, the cut tool is great for editing your geometry if it's just not going the way you want it when you first create it. Um, that's a really good point. I'm using the cut tool right here to create uh, 
like a propeller space. So I'm just going to add, uh, is it possible to turn down the sketch uh, layer? Yeah, uh, give me one capacity. second. Not all the way, just maybe like 20%. 
20, 30 percent, something. Yeah, totally. It's kind of starting to get a little in the way now, so. Mm -hmm. Just ghost it? Is that what you were looking for? Yeah, yeah, that's this is fine. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to move the camera um, to another spot so people can see a little more detail. Um, I'm going to keep working, but uh, got some more comments coming in here too. So I'm going to do. Uh, the white accent piece it has on the, the sketches. So what I'm going to do is basically copy the entire surface, put it in new layer, and then start deleting the points that I don't need, which is pretty much everything up here. Um, Largan, you asked about the Michael Smith video. Uh, if you just go look at his Instagram, which is I draw cars in 3D, um, you'll find it there. I don't believe, I'm not sure if he's got a video on YouTube on that. Uh, but you can definitely see his, uh, his post on Instagram for sure. Oh, are you talking about the airplane? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. someone was just asking about where they can find that again. Mm -hmm. but uh yeah i'm gonna move the camera here so rising the camera get a little bit more of a top-down view so as you can see we've got some interior blocked out Daniel's down there working on the surfacing. Yeah, the rear view looks really cool as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing the the accent piece that is uh, covering the the side profile in the rear side. I'm going to turn the visor slightly uh, and just get this shape. Circling now. Looking really cool. 
I'm going to position the, the camera up here up top. And I'm going to keep working. And then we'll do, once we're done, we'll do just a final walk around of the design. Yeah. Absolutely.
crystal is very satisfying. What's very satisfying? Uh, crystal. Oh, yes. Like when you finally do surfaces and then start applying creases. It's, it's very Absolutely. satisfying. All right, let's check some of the comments here. Definitely got a lot of chat going on. Let's see. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Will this collaborative feature be available on Quest? The answer is yes. So how does the camera view work, the spectator view? The answer to that is if you go on your desktop, uh, take off your headset when you're in Gravity Sketch. So you have your Gravity Sketch scene open. You uh, hit the escape key on your keyboard, and that will pop up a menu on your desktop. And you will see a switch for external camera. You just turn that on. And then in your Gravity Sketch scene, you will see a camera that you can position and adjust the field of view and all of that. Somebody asked if we could just explain the process so far, and I think that's a good thing we should do. So um, what we've been doing is we've been modeling this, uh, this flying car, and it's based off of some sketches up here that, we'd, um, that we that actually were done by Airbus, uh, their design team. And we thought it'd be really cool to use these sketches as reference and then just make this thing in real life. So we don't exactly have any orthographic views of it, but we have these sketches to go off of. Um, and we're basically just building it, looking at these sketches. Um, and so Duanil, a uh, product expert here at Gravity Sketch, is working on the exterior while um, I work on the interior of this vehicle. And the idea is that we're able to get um, work that would normally take a while, you know, with one person. We're getting it really pretty much done in, in about half the time it would normally take. Um, and so that's essentially what we're doing. Um, and we've just been basically talking about our thoughts and our process as we go along. So any, if there's any questions uh, that's, uh, on how we're doing what we're doing, um, you know, all questions are welcome. 
yeah just leave that in a comment and we'll definitely answer that you know best knowledge So right now I am just working on the console and blocking that in. Just some really simple forms. And I'm just adding crease to already the surfaces that I've already made. And basically just kind of like adding details and finishing up the, the exterior. So Crystal is basically a brand new tool with the new update, which is very, very helpful. Oop, getting a little bit of lag on my end. Daniel, are you experiencing any lag on your side? Uh, not really. Okay. I might have to... It might be your internet connection or something. Yeah. We're pretty much at an hour and a half as well for our time. Let me just see if I can really quickly quit the app here and yeah I'm just doing like finishing touch so We should be able to wrap this up in a few minutes, I, I think. Yeah. Set up smooth head cam again. So this is actually a good example for everybody that was asking about smooth head camera. Um, this is the window that pops up when uh, you click the escape key. And you can switch on external camera here, which is this middle one. And uh, click that on. And now we have external camera in the scene. And we're just going to... Position that. And I'm going to turn follow sketch. There we go. Oh, no.
just quit. I'm going to see if I can open Gravity Sketch. If we can just get a pass around the uh, the vehicle here and get a get a good look at it. Yeah. I'm going to just keep external head cam off. I'm going to just use my uh, headset camera. So going around the model here. Uh, you know, here's Duaniel. He's working on the uh, little details here. Looks like he's trying to close up a hole. Yeah. And then if we just go along over to the interior, um, I've been working on the interior design here. Uh, we're just basically blocking in the chair, uh, some of the foot details. So if you look at the reference image here, we've got some extrusions coming off the chair. Um, and we have some side support grab handles and then we have the center console which looks like it has this uh sort of this red screen basically and so we can just put that in view there just like that and what we can do is we can put that on a layer And take the transparency down on that just a little bit. Hey, Daniel, can you show the rest of the um, the visor so we yeah, can see what yeah. that looks like on the? Uh... Oh yeah, uh, this uh, white white uh, surface that I've done. Or are you talking about the okay uh, here? Yeah, yeah, that. Let me get copy this surface and mirror this to the light accent piece. And so just for anybody new that's joining, um, what we've done here is we've taken these sketches, these reference images from Airbus. It's a flying car concept from them. And we brought them into our scene and we started with a, a sketch, um, and I'll just kind of make that a little more visible. Uh, Daniel, if you want to, could you just quickly turn off your surfaces real quick? Yeah, hold on a second. There. Oh, turn off my surfaces? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we started with the sketch here, uh, and we uh, basically uh, prepared this before we started, just so we could spend more time on the surfacing. Um, but using the sketch, Duaniel jumped right into the uh, the exterior, and Duaniel, if you, you can turn your surfaces back on so everybody can see. Um, and basically, this is, is this all one sub-D surface, pretty much? Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. So, so Daniel's been working on the exterior, um, and then I will turn on um, the interior here. So this is the interior that I've been working on as Daniel has been working. And so we've been able to communicate with each other and, and talk about what we're doing um, and sort of get, get the design um cohesively uh, going as we're working. So uh, let me pull up, let's see. Um, yeah, well, thank you everybody for watching. Um, Daniel, I'll let you just finish up that last bit that you're doing there. It's looking yeah. really, really nice. I was just going to... Uh, I'll turn the visor on like halfway so people can see that's transparent visor. So 
we can turn on surface contours and we can see I don't know if you can see those but uh, it might just be for me but I've turned on surface contours so you can see the continual uh, geometry of the surfaces mm -hmm. Let's see but um, yeah thank you everybody for watching uh, Again, Doniel, product expert at Gravity Sketch, um, design community manager, Jaron Dorman, myself. <laughs> uh, we've been just working on this flying car and um, using some reference images from Airbus and uh, working on this together at the same time, which has really sped up the process a lot. Starting from sketches, going right into surfacing um, with Doniel working on the exterior, where I work on the interior here, as you can see it. Um, and I can even scale it up to real life and I can get an idea of, you know, how, um, how large it is. And there's Daniel, he's <laughs> at the front there. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, and uh, this is like a, a nice little, um, point, uh, to, to cover here, which is, uh, ergonomics. Um, you know, if you want to start getting into the ergonomics and, and adding more touch points in your interior design, uh, you can start literally marking off spots in the space so getting it full scale and then start marking you know what your what your reach is for your arm you know where you can touch um, and you can zoom out and then you can see exactly where your reach is on your 3d model uh, and then design accordingly so if you want to position something like a button or a switch uh, and you and you want to make sure it's accessible and it's not too str not too um, hard for the person to access it. You have an actual visual reference for uh, where you can place things and where things can be comfortable and make sense for the for the person going to be interacting in the space. So um, let's just check for some final questions. I think uh, you should show this uh, a rear view. I'm going to flip this reference oh, yeah. image. Right yeah, let's here. show that. We can shrink these down too a little bit as well, I think. Yeah. Don't need and these as much anymore. You can see how close it is to the actual sketch, which yeah. is not an orthographic sketch. Very Just nice. Kind of yeah. So everybody watching, yeah, that's pretty, pretty dead on, I got to say. That looks really good. Yeah, within just an hour and a half, we managed to pump out the exterior and interior yes good point yeah within an hour and a half we were able to create all of this um and it, teamworks makes the dream work so two of us working at the same time um that's just the power of being able to connect uh through vr connect uh in real time um i'm just going to go around this design 360 going around the space Excellent work, Daniel. Looks like really looks really nice. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Great job on interior. That's amazing. Yeah. And so we're just using combination of sub D and uh, nerve surfaces. Daniel started with with uh, nerve surfaces and then converted to sub D. Um, I did a, a workflow of just starting with sub D uh, and then adding more geometry for complexity um, as a workflow, but really you can go any way. Um, it's just whatever works for you. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want to say wave, if you want to wave to the, the camera or wave at me, Dwaniel. Um, so everybody, this is Dwaniel, our product expert here at Gravity Sketch. And I want to thank everybody for, um, for watching today. Let me just check one more time, make sure we got answer everybody's questions. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, Thank you for joining. Yeah. All right, everybody. We will see you next week. Bye now. Bye-bye.